Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra. I'm Debra, by the way. If you are new here, thank you for coming by and checking things out. Stick around a while, you might have some fun. If you're not subscribed already, I'd love you to please consider it. And while I'm thinking of it, go ahead and hit that like button. And leave a comment afterwards, after you see all the things. Okay, because there's lots of things today. Oh, we're going to start off with the life and stuff part like I usually do. It has been so stinking busy. Uh, matter of fact, one night this week, after work, I got off work at 7 o'clock, I was in bed before 7.30. Yeah, I was tired. And I just, ugh, it was a nothing kind of day. I was done. Just done. But I've recovered some. We've made it to Saturday. I'm on my lunch break on my Saturday work day. Um... So that's still a thing. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Other things in life, a little bit of shopping, not much. Uh, nothing to speak of to, to really show, mostly just groceries and things. We were out of onions, y'all. Completely out. That can't happen because we can't cook in my house without onions. So yeah, we had to go to the store. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got to tell you that at the end of this video, because I haven't figured out how to put them in the middle yet, there are going to be some pictures of my little bitty baby garden stuff. <laughs> because there's green, y'all. There is green, and I'm really tickled about it. This is my list, my sort of map out of what is planted where. And I know you couldn't read that, and that's okay. It's a 36-cell little doohickey. Um, to start growing, you know, your seeds. I did not have them all filled. I still have some that are empty and some that I have already taken out and put in little pots. And you will see that too. Um, but yeah, I have some peppers coming up and I'm really excited about that. And I have also got beets and tomatoes and what else? Oh yeah, another pepper, some arugula, just and basil, lots of basil. But yeah, I'm really excited. And <laughs> I made another order from uh, Jimmy Pickles. That's uh, jpepperseeds.com. He is on YouTube as well. And I will have him either linked there or down below. I did make an order. And I got some freebies, as you do. And all the freebies are super hot. Oh, boy. I might grow them anyway. And, um, oh, yeah, here's his business card jppepperseeds.com he gives an instruction sheet on basically what to do um, good tips on growing these hot ones and this is one that I ordered it was in the bottom of the bag which is why I was having a hard time picking it out he doesn't just have super hot the ahi dulce is a sweet pepper so yeah but he's like a full-time pepper seed dude I ordered three I got some freebies I will be starting those up very, very soon because I'm excited and now I want to grow all the things. I want to crochet all the things. I want to grow all the things. I need more hours in a day. That is what I need. Uh, something else that I got in the mail was this. You might notice my nails are blue today, a little iridescent blue. Please excuse the quality of my nails themselves. My nails are short and they break and it's awful. But I use Color Street sometimes, and that's what this is from. I didn't order more. Um, what I got a couple of weeks ago that I, I showed on the video was pretty cool. I ordered some stuff on um, Mandy's Manny's, uh, which I will link her down below. She is my Color Street person, okay? And she sent me a thank you. She was actually having a promotion that day. She sent me a very nice a handwritten thank you card. I got these, which are earrings, which she said in the card that you can trim them down and make them shorter because they are super long, but you can make them shorter. I also got some extras, these little samples that they send so that you can try them out, make really good accent nails with other stuff that you may already have, which is fun. I got a sticker that says, be happy. Love that. And she actually sent me two more sets of Color Street nail strips, which is really super cool. There is this one, which is called Wannabe. I hope they focus. Look at the sparkle. I know you can see a little of that sparkle in there. And another one, which is super sparkly and plaid at the same time. It's called Plaid Reputation. Look at that. Anyway, 
Thank you, Mandy. That is awesome. Oh, and I also got this. A little keychain dealie that you can uh, put on your wrist. Love it. Love everything. That was just super sweet. Put that there so that I don't drop it. Now, what's going on on the channel? Okay, I'm glad you asked. We have book looks on Sunday, okay? On Monday, it's time for tea. You should take some time for tea every day, but look at some teas that I get on Monday. Tuesdays is snacks around the world. Always a good time there because, hello, food. Wednesdays right now, there are pa pepper powder tastings. Yeah, if you saw last week's, it about burnt my face off, but we're going to try again. Uh, Jimmy Pickles is a sponsor of that. He actually sent some pepper powders. He does not sell pepper powders. He sells the seeds. You can grow them and make your own powders. He can just make powders that after he's harvested his seeds out of them, he's got peppers. So he makes powders and eats them and gives them to friends and, and lets some of us try them and show you about them. Wowzers, okay? Uh, that is on Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays are kind of open. This past Friday, I put up a tutorial. What? I told you I was busy? Yes! Um, little mini tutorial, like a super easy thing that everybody probably knows but me. So I put it up. Please check it out. And on Saturday, it is the Saturday vloggy thing, which is what you're watching right now. Sort of a catch-up, a catch-all, if you will, where I show my whips and my foes if I have any of those. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Um, but I do have uh, some whips. In this little sack is a whip that is growing out of this little sack which is my temperature blanket. Now I'm doing my temperature blanket in a DK weight and I'm doing lows and highs for the day. I've shown you this part before. Uh, it's probably upside down, but that's okay. This is just what it is. It's 19 squares across and it'll be 20 rows down. That's correct. It does not equal 365. It's a little bit more. I filled in with, um, to label the months and the year and a few other fill-in squares in between. Middle is the low, outer is the high. And it is a cacophony of blues and purples and bluish greens. This is the most recent one. Not quite ready to attach to the other one yet, but I am keeping up with attaching as I go. I don't want to be overwhelmed at the end of the year. We had some warm days in there. See that purple? That's some of the warm. And there we go. This was yesterday's square, which was the day before's temperatures. I have not done today's yet because uh, I'm recording this at lunchtime, and that's when I usually do this. So I will catch up on that later. Something else I'm catching up on later is uh, Lisa Ladybird Loves. Ladybird Loves channel is having a mystery crochet along. We are following every week for five weeks to see what we end up with. We were told what size weight yarn to use, and then that was it. Um, this is after, I think, week two. This next one is coming up later on today, which I will catch up later on because I will be at work while it's going on, but I'll be there kind of listening, lurking, and, you know, making the occasional comment because that's what I do. But, yes, I don't think it's going to be a giraffe, though. I thought it would be a giraffe. <laughs> Anyhow, that's going on. I do have uh, what I would consider not quite a finish, but it's a, you know, it's a, it's a whip. Uh, I'm participating in the Rock 2022 AU Crochet Along or Make Along with uh, Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. And this week's album was a Deep Purple album that I can't remember the name of because I have just had a blank. But these are some of the colors on the album cover. That's what I'm getting inspired by on each of these. Um, there were little flames and like, like orangish top hats, um, some pinks and some purples and some blues. So that's what I went with. Each square I'm doing is corner to corner, surrounded by black. It's a row of single crochet and then a row of half doubles around it. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to put them all together and it's going to be just a very colorful, striking blanket that each one is inspired by an album cover. An album cover that either Judy or someone in her household is choosing out of her collection, which is so cool. She's got a great vinyl collection. Oh my God, Judy, that is wonderful. Okay. Okay, what else did I have? Oh, boom. I have got... <laughs> I know I had to have a finished object to show this week. No, the hubby blanket, I crocheted on it a little, not enough to show. I'll show it again next week. 
And my big corner to corner, same. Didn't get to work on it much. I didn't get to crochet much this week. But I have started making some more um, scrunchies for Rose Likes Crochet. One of the months is going to be hair scrunchies or hair ties. And that's a little something I can put together. You might recognize this yarn. This is made with the same yarn that I made my uh, crochet ponchette out of, the beaded ponchette. I have some left, so little things. And I think that makes a really cool hair scrunchie, kind of lacy looking. And I made another one just out of some four weight uh, big twists that I have. Just a little bit roughly, so it's not too chunky. And I'll make some chunky ones and some not so chunky ones. I love making hair scrunchies. It's one of those things you can just do, is a, is a TV project. Basically, you can do it while you watch TV. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought. Except on this one, I, you know, made myself count. But, I mean, I can count most of the time. No new yarn this week. Now, I know that kind of makes me sad too, but I don't really need any more new yarn. Let's be real, y'all. I got a big box of my big twist and some other things that I'm using for that crochet along over there. So I have colors to choose from. Um... I'm looking over there and I have some bougie yarns that I, that I really want to play with. I mean, I have some fuzzy yarns over there and I have all of this and I have more mandala cakes up there and I've got some mill ends there that I still need to use more of all I've done so far is make a hat. Um, yeah, I need more hours in a day. Seriously. <sighs> So what else is going on? Who knows? <laughs> I know that there will be work. I know that at some point this weekend I will go out to eat because fat girl needs to eat and um, visits with friends and I'll be recording a bunch of videos on Sunday. That's generally when I get my other videos recorded. My Saturday video is done on Saturday almost every time, but I don't have much time to record during the week. So I kind of do like a bulk record. I do all the things, which is why sometimes you will see me wearing the same thing in several different videos. Besides the fact that I don't have, I mean, I have a lot of clothes, but I don't have a lot of clothes that I'm comfy in to, you know, wear on camera. This one though, this is, you see the top of my dress. And you have seen this plenty of times if you watch my channel for a while. Um, this is probably my favorite dress. Um, I got it at Torrid several years ago. I don't even know when I got it. But we often refer to this as my mountain dress. Not because there's mountains on it or it has any mountain theme, but because it seems like every time I go visit a mountain, like when we went up to Caesar's Head and I've been up to Sandia Peak in New Mexico, I've been wearing this dress. So it is now the mountain dress. And it's wonderful and it's comfortable and it's torrid and I absolutely love it. Anyhow, that's the fashion part of today, I guess. Crochet life and stuff. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Oscar did not make an appearance today. I don't know where he is. He must be napping somewhere as he does. Um, maybe he'll make an appearance tomorrow. Who knows? I will see you very, very soon though please leave a comment down below. Do you have a favorite dress or a favorite top that you just seem to wear at this one occasion every single time? Because that's just kind of weird to me that it happened, but there it is. I will see y'all soon. Bye now.